Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1992 Japanese exclusive figure Sandstorm. Yep, that's who this is and you are correct, this is a Brawl Redeco. This isn't one of the later versions like Ruination, R.I.D. or indeed Generation 2. This was released in Generation 1 only in Japan as I say in 1992. So this just beat the Generation 2 version and use of this mould. So what we are going to do with this video, we are going to do of course some comparisons with him and his original Generation 1 self in both modes. Now unfortunately I don't have his larger twin gun but I'm just going to use this one to show you how it would fit. Um, and as I say we're going to have a little bit of history on this particular chap. So as I say in 1992 um, in Japan they were still making Transformers. It was the final line of toys in generation one it was known as operation combination and he came out with the rest of of course they were originally known as the combaticons and he will again combine which i'm going to be doing a video on very soon because i've got all of the pieces now he is just a straight up redeco of brawl but there's only plastic pieces there's no metal on this which of course the original brawls did have some metal on them uh, of course we've got different stickers on it you can see as well and as i've mentioned i'm missing the large um, twin cannon however i just wanted to show you that the plastic color is darker for these so if i did have one of these um, it would need to be darker it's not just a case of oh i can just use a generation one you can't because the color on it is that bit darker however it would look exactly the same it would just rest i'm not going to push it all the way in into position like that to be honest there's not too much difference apart from the striking difference in the color obviously um but with a lot of these figures and again as we get used to we get used to them redecoing figures as well so let's have a quick look at him in his alternate mode let's move this right out of the way fold these down have i just caught it there we go i'm not going to be transforming this very often at all it looks actually like the stamps in a different place the stamp is there and it's later now is it later does it say oh no it says 88 86 it still says the same transformation process is still exactly the same i'm just doing it really really carefully now we can see another difference obviously we can see that the head is painted in a different color i'm not going to push this all the way in for obvious reasons i'm just going to very quickly bring in his original use of the mold and i think what i'm gonna have to do in the future is get all my versions of brawl and do exactly that do some um yeah comparisons of them all for this video i just wanted to do the generation one versions anyway you can see he's missing his rub sign um and that's probably because pretty much after 90 well for the 1990 reissues that we got which were gold boxes they didn't have the rub signs on them then either so i imagine they used the same mold they've not even got the cut out you can see there that is missing um there's not much more to say about this it is a super basic figure it does still um use the scramble city um gimmick which of course means that he can beat either leg or either arm but he's usually the right leg and once again i'll be showing you that um towards the well very soon i was no point saying towards the end of the week are you going to be able to see it in another video very soon if you're watching this at a later date it'll already be uplo uploaded and i'm going to be doing an old battle gear uh, playlist just to watch all five reviews and the combining of him but in the meantime this was the 1992 japanese exclusive decepticon sandstorm hope you enjoyed looking at him take care